Flash has a tool called tracing that you can use to check to see if your code's working properly. Tracing kind of enables you to write notes to yourself. Let me demonstrate how that works. I got this movie here, and I'm going to click on this ball to show you that the instance name is ball underscore mc. It's just a movie clip. And I have an actions layer. I'm going to go to that keyframe, open up the actions panel. Uh, disregard for now this comment block here. We're going to get into that in just a minute. I'm going to type trace open parenthesis, open quote, and then I'm going to type something, a little message, I'm going to type woo, close quote, close parenthesis, semicolon. So, what we're doing here is we're writing a little message to ourselves. Let's test the movie and let me demonstrate how that works. I'm going to press control enter to test the movie. And see the output window comes up, and that's where your error messages usually come. And it says woo, just like we typed in in quotes. And so we can see that we use a trace statement. Whatever you put in the parentheses comes up in the output window. And sometimes you can put it in quotes, and then it says exactly what you type in. Or sometimes you can type a variable name, and it can give you your variable name, especially for a value that's going to change. You may be thinking, oh, whoop de doo I can write little notes to myself, how cute, you know, what practical application does that have? Well, let me show you. Okay, I'm going to take away these comments. Remember we talked about comments before. Uh, this is a multi-line comment. Uh, there's a forward slash, asterisk, and at the end, there's an asterisk forward slash. And all of the code in between is in gray. So if we erase those asterisks and forward slashes, then we have some code we can use. And this code is something I created before, and it basically says, when you release, or it, on release is an action, so when you press and release, just like kind of like a button, you know, when you click the button, then whatever is inside of these curly braces, that code will execute. So I'm going to just I'm going to select this trace statement, just like this. And one cool thing you do is click and drag it once you have it selected, and release within the curly braces to drag the trace statement in there. So what this is doing is it says when I release, or when I click and release, the ball movie clip that's on the main timeline, it's going to trace the word woo. So now, let's test that movie. So you roll over the ball and notice the hand icon comes up. So when I press that button, the woo comes up in the output window. So that shows my button's working. You know, maybe I can change that text to say, my button works. Okay, test the movie again, click it, my button works. Very, very cool. Okay, so now you're saying, so what? Uh, not too exciting. Sometimes when you're typing in code, you're going to make uh, typos. You know, what if I put ball with one L underscore MC? I test the movie. I can't roll over it, and it doesn't work. I don't get a trace statement. So the trace statement in this instance kind of allows us to see if it's working right. And so I know this is kind of a basic application of tracing, but as we go into more advanced action script, we're going to use it in more advanced ways. But just to demonstrate, I wanted to show you that trace statements are very powerful. You can see if your code's working or if it's not working. And for this instance, yeah, when we roll over the ball, you know, we could tell if it's going to work when we can't roll over it. But a lot of times we'll want an action to happen, and it won't be something that will be obvious like that. And so the trace statement enables us to see if something's working right. Um, some actions execute once something's loaded. Like when we load style sheets later on, we're going to have an action that will execute once the style sheet's loaded and ready to use. And you can use a trace statement then to see if the style sheet's loaded properly. So trace statements are really cool, and I recommend using them often to make sure your, all of your code's working properly.